Hi everyone, it's Donna again. This is another shopping haul. I've been to my local store that stocks Ducrass and there's been some new releases this month so I was very tempted. Um, this new collection is from the b and it's based on quilts from the b and Museum, the Victorian Albert Museum in London. They've got a linen effect to them. This is a 6x6 pad. It also comes in 8x8 and 12x12 and then they have stamps and other things to go with it which I'll tell you about while I flip through the papers. Um, they do stamps, they do ribbons, there's a lot of other things. If you want to see anything they do, the best thing to do is go to their website, which is www.docrafts.co.uk, and you can see their products. And if it's say if you're outside of the UK and there's anything you want help getting, then please, please let me know, and I'll do everything I can to help. Um, the issue with the colouring on here, I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm actually at the moment, it's lunchtime in the UK, so I'm filming right in the middle of the day and I still had to put a light on, which is why I'm getting this funny shadowing because there's a light above me. Um, I don't know what to do. I've discovered with the camera, I've been playing about all day filming things and if I put anything from the warm family in front of the screen, then it tends to go yellow, so I don't know what's going on, but it seems to like cool colours more than it likes warm colours so I'm afraid I'm not sure how to fix that at the moment but anyway these are the papers from this collection as I said they do other things to go with it and this is the new Simeon collection and this is the A5 pad it also comes in A4 and in this one you get 30 designs 30 sheets of paper one of each design again they do coordinating products but you also get in the back here, two sheets of die cuts, which are very nice. It gives you some journaling and things and borders. So that's quite nice. And then this is the papers. This one is actually an orangey colour, so that's good that it's coming up that colour. And it's just not wrong for once. And we have this one. So they're on this side. I'm trying to keep them in the camera, but I also keep myself out of the light. So and we have this one. Uh, it's lovely at the moment, do cross bring out so many products that say there's stamps to go with this and ribbons and other bits and bobs. Uh, I used to work for them, I used to be a demonstrator for them and their products got very the same, it was the same things every month just in different colours. And As much as I loved working for them and I treasured every day being a demonstrator because you know it's lovely to be able to demonstrate your hobby, it just got very difficult to design when you're working with the same products all the time. Now they're bringing out new collections every couple of months and I would so kill to be a designer now for them. These collections are absolutely gorgeous. I think it would be so easy to design for them now. But never mind, I had to give up for health issues and there was nothing I could do about it. I, I regret having to do it, but it was something I had to do. Uh, but I would give anything to be working for them now with these collections. They're absolutely beautiful. So as I say, if there's anything you like and you're outside of the UK and you want to get hold of, please feel free to contact me and I'll do whatever I can to help. I don't mind. No, we all help each other. That's what it's all about, isn't it, really? Helping each other. I think that's why we do the haul videos so people know what there is about. So, so that's the Prisimian collection. I definitely know there's stamps to go with that because I was very tempted by them today, but I thought, no, I can't buy everything. We can't have everything in one go, can we? So I decided to go for the papers and then next time it has to be something else. This is their new confetti collection, which is their wedding collection. It, again, it's warm colours. It makes mainly pinks and yellows, so I apologise in advance for what the camera does. This is the back page that says wedding and everything. This is the 8x8 pad. I believe it also comes in 6x6 and 12x12, but they only had the 8x8 and the 12x12 in the shop today, which is why I got the 8x8. And again, they do have ribbons and things to go with it. I believe they have some stamps, but I'm not sure. I didn't see them in the shops. So now, that one is actually a pinky colour. Let me see if I keep it alone for a minute with the camera. There. If I hold it still for a bit, sometimes the camera decides to let me have it as pink. There's that one. That one's got very, very tiny little white hearts on it. It's pink with little white hearts, so it's quite difficult to see. And this one, I'll turn around and see if the camera will still leave it as pink. Then you've got the cakes, and then you've got the wedding cake and the tiaras and everything. So again, that is pink, but as I've told you with this camera, it 
nothing else to mess about with warm colours. I've got this one, paisley one, then the pink paisley. So I'm sorry if I pick it up, it starts to go orange. I'm just trying to let you see the designs a bit, but at the same time, try not to have them yellow. And there's this one, the beautiful little lovebirds on in the hearts. And these designs. And the hearts again. I'm going to pick it up, it will go yellowy a bit, but it is slightly yellowy background, so that will be part of the problem. And you've got it in the grey tones. Again, some more grey tones for that one. And we've got this one. I like this one, it's unusual. This one with the hearts on. And the beautiful roses. And again, the pink, which of course the camera's going to start hating. Let's see, there we go. I'll give it a chance to calm down, see if it changes its mind. I'll give it another page to see if that helps it change its mind. There we go. And we've got this one with the little tiny roses on, which I know are hard to see. And this one. The little hearts. And the words. And then this one is actually a yellowy page, so it's not the camera. And I love this one because I think you could use these as little labels for your photo pages, which is quite nice to have. And you've got this one with the little butterflies and they're just married all over it. And then more butterflies. And finally you've got the roses. And then this is Rose Garden, which is absolutely beautiful. Again you get some die cuts with this, so you've got all your alphabets and a few words and things on them and borders. Then you've got tags and little tag toppers then you've got more borders and shapes which are quite nice and then there's um, 24 papers 12 designs two of each and this one's the lovely roses and you've got the stripes to go with it this one the pink with the paisley. I'm going to try and pick it up a bit, see if I can show you the paisley. I know it's going to go the yellowy colour, but I'm trying to let you see the paisley as well as the colour when it's down there. And you've got this one. And the beautiful roses. And this pink paisley-ish one again. And more of the lovely roses, which are again a pinky colour. Stripes, this greeny coloured one, then another rosy one, and the blue with the roses, which is absolutely beautiful. So that's Rose Garden, and then this is the capsule collection. I've shown it before, but this is their new colour. This is the Verde collection, and this is the A5 pad. Again, you get 30 sheets, and every sheet's different. So this is that one, and that one. They're very lovely papers. And with this one, they do ribbons and they do buttons. They don't do any stamps for this collection, which is unusual for them these days. But they do quite a few other bits. I love this one with the tiny little roses on. And this one with the sort of gingham-y hands tooth effect. This one's my favourite. In every pad, I love that colour one. I love the one that looks like it's got lace over. I think it's really pretty. And this one's very soft, but very pretty. This one, in a different way. And the stripe. So they're really pretty papers. It's nice to have something different for a change. And they say these are absolutely gorgeous. They still remind me a bit of Anna Griffin, which is lovely. I love her papers so much. So that's the Verde collection. I just quickly grabbed out the others just to remind you. This is the Aqua collection, which does have some purples in. So I'll just quickly flip you and see some of them. They've got purples in a little bit. There's that one. You see, it's got purples in that. 
so that I might be able to see with that one it's the bluey greeny colours and purples then they also do the Heather collection which of course being the warm colour is going to upset the camera that was that one then they do the Sunshine collection which is a really good deal because you can get the whole collection which is about £30 worth of goods for £15 which is really good and then finally that's the Red Hot collection which of course is going to send the camera going mad so I'll take that out of the way very quickly I need to say, say if there's anything you want please let me know and thanks for watching and I'll speak to you again soon bye